All right, so this video is on the triangle mid-segment. So on your notes at the beginning, you'll see the triangle mid-segment, and we're going to talk about the parts of it. So a mid-segment of a triangle is a segment connecting the midpoints of the side. So this DE is your mid-segment, okay? So this last uh, question here in this first little box says, what's the example? It's DE. All right? The theorem says if a segment joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, that's here, then the segment is parallel to the third side. So it's parallel to the base, and it is half as long. So the mid-segment is half the base. All right, now we have already talked about this, and you've done a few problems with it. Uh, but I wanted to go back through it just to make sure everybody was good. So there's two things that we can say about that. We can say that DE and AC are parallel and that DE, the mid-segment, is half of AC, the base. Okay, so make sure you're filling in those blanks. All right, so let's look at a couple examples. All right, let's look at the first two. It says identify all the parts that are parallel segments. But notice what they did. They put a triangle within the triangle. So let's look at this line, XY. It is parallel to its base, QS. Okay? Now, let's look at XW, this one right here. It is parallel to its base of RS. Okay? And then the third one is WY is parallel to its base of QR. All right, so you're doing the same thing in number two. All right. Now, the next two are asking you for uh, the lengths of sides. So let's look. We are with a mid-segment, right? Now, one thing you've got to remember is the mid-segment connects the midpoints of the sides. And that's what our theorem said. So if this is the mid-segment, MN, LM, then it's splitting these two sides into equal parts. Okay? And if this is the mid-segment here, then it's splitting this into two parts. Okay? So, um... Looking at everything they gave us up here in the word problem, we're just going to put our values where they belong. You should always do that. And then finding those missing parts, okay? So hopefully you're able to do both of those very easily. Now we want to use those parts, and we're going to put them in a problem. So look at number five. It is uh, directing, directing you to the mid-segments, okay? So 7x is the length of the mid-segment, and 17x minus 18 is the length of the base. So our formula says that the mid-segment, 7x, is one-half the base, 17x minus 18. All right, so I want you to set that up, and then I want you to solve it. And if you'll pause the video, we'll let them have time to work number five and six out. And then we'll check it. So here are the answers to 5 and 6. All they wanted to do was find X. So we can say 2 of the uh, mid-segments is equal to the base. So 2 times 7X is 14X equal to 17X minus 18. Same thing on number 6. 2 of the mid-segments equals the base. Okay? All right, let's look on the other side. And you have two more problems like number five and six. So if you'll pause the video and try that one, those two. All right, seven and eight. This time they didn't just ask for X. You had to use X to find the measure they wanted. So they wanted the length of the mid-segment for this one. So if X is 9, we're going to plug in a 9 and we get 37 for DE. 
And then this one wanted the length of the base. So if we plug in 4 for x, we can find the base of 86. All right, number 9. Number 9 gives you some information about this triangle within a triangle and some of the other legs. So let's look at what they want. They want us to find the perimeter of triangle JKL. So that's the big triangle. But we would need to first find X in order to do that. Okay, so let's look at it. How do you think you should set it up? All right, let's look at MN. MN M -N says the length is 49. All right, that means the base it's parallel to is twice that length. So JL is 98. So let's look at NO. NO is 42. That means the base EJ, KJ, is twice that. So 42 twice is 84. So JK is 84. Now the other one has an expression. So let's set it up. 2 times the mid segment. So 2 times 6x minus 1 would equal the base. So it equals 13x minus 10. So find out what that measure is. So find x and plug it in. So KL, you should have found out, was 94. So if we add all the sides together of the big triangle, what do we get? We should have gotten 276. Okay? All right, now I want you to try the other ones. Try 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Based on what you're given, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and then I will go through the answers with you. I won't go through explaining them, but if you have a question, ask a classmate. Okay, so pause the video and work those last six problems out on your notes. All right, so 10 and 11, 12 and 13 are on the board, so check your answers. If you need to pause the video, pause it. And then your last two. Okay, so in your homework, you are going to have some problems just like it. Make sure you refer to your notes to find out what's equal, how do you set things up. All right, and good luck.